Jesus, hallelujah, Lord. We give you praise, Father. Thank you for today, Lord. We thank you for another great day that you have blessed us with, Father. You have blessed us with your presence, Lord, and your Holy Spirit this morning, Lord. You have blessed us with everything that you are in our world, Father. And because of that, Lord, we have nothing and we say thank you, Lord. I just want to welcome all our families this morning and we want to say blessings to you this morning and we are rejoicing that you are with us this morning and let's open our hearts to receive yes. our spirits to receive and i ask our holy spirit to help me to release this word of the lord that will penetrate mm -hmm. into our hearts and into our souls yes. that will bring healing and deliverance and a greater understanding of our father about his word yes. amen thank yes. you lord yes. hallelujah and today it's a very exciting word uh, it's a very exciting, very powerful because the Lord is talking here about freedom and the law. Yes. Amen? Amen. Freedom and the law. Yes, come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We give him praise. Yes. And the main scripture here is um, Galatians 3.29. Mm -hmm. If you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and hers according to the promise? Amen? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I will start with um, verse 18. Yeah. Amen? For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise, but God give it to Abraham I promise. Yeah. 18 is a very, very powerful scripture because it says, For if the inheritance be of the law, for we know that in the word, in his word in the New Testament, he says that we are heir, heir, heir and co heir, right? Yes. And here he's talking about the inheritance be of the law. Then it will be no more promise. So that means that the sacrifice that Jesus did on the cross, it will be nullified, right? If it was, if there was an inheritance, be of the law, right. and there will be no more promises. Now, we know that the Lord uh, was buried, He was crucified, and He resurrected. Yeah. Amen. And He was persecuted. And he also died for all of our sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not also he did that, but the law was included in that. That the law was included in that. For us not to walk in bondage anymore. Bondages through traditions, you know, um, um, you know, laws, you know, things like that. But he did it for us to walk in the freedom 
O liberty of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So he over here says, so there will be no promises, no more of promise. What is it that promises that we, that we say amen to the promise of the Lord, that we will have eternal life? That's one of his promises. Amen? amen. So it would have been nullified if we're still walking under the law. Amen? Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And it is because, and that's what happened to Abraham. Abraham, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. Why he gave it to Abraham by promise? He didn't earn it, right? He didn't earn, he didn't earn the promises of the Lord. But why? Why the Lord said, God gave it to Abraham by promise, yes. which is what he has given to us yes. through the Lord. Right. Why to Abraham? Because Abraham was counted righteous yes. by his faith in God. Yes, he Amen? Yes, and he that goes for us too. Yes. That when we confess and we believe with our hearts that the Lord is our Savior, then there, that's what then there comes the righteousness of the Lord upon us. Amen? Yes. yes. So in verse 19, he says, Wherefore, then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions. Yes, it Till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. And it was ordained by angels in the hand of our mediator. So, what was the law at that time? You know, well, we know at that time that there was there were a lot of uh, Pharisees, you know, and we can see in the Old Testament the all kinds of transgressions, um, you know, and the law, the law of God needed to be, you know, in those times until the seed. We know who the seed is, which is Christ Jesus our savior. And so he says over here, thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you. Um, he says here, the God and his, his, his inheritance came through his promise. Then why should people of God continue to rely on the law for salvation? You know, I will give you an example. Before I accepted the Lord as my savior, now I can say that I was living under the law. I do not know that. A lot of us do not know that, that we're still living on the law, you know, on the law, because we know, we think that by being a good person, right? Mm -hmm. That by doing, doing good things for people, you know, I didn't know that that lie, lie a lie right i needed i needed his righteousness i didn't know i thought that maybe um praying the rosary you know i would be saved maybe the lord in his mercy would save me right or you know just being good i would say that 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 i was going to heaven because i did my best mm -hmm. but now i know that is only through my faith in Christ Jesus that I am saved yes. and walking in his righteousness. Amen? Amen. Yes, Sister Abraham. Yeah, just to add to that, that um, one of the things about the law that's, that's good, and even the laws that we have today, the way is it helps mankind to recognize where our heart is. Yes. yes. And so when we have that law and we break the law, we mm -hmm. see that we do need God in our lives. Yes. We cannot keep the laws on our own. And that's what happened uh, to them as it happens to us uh, today. Because man cannot rely on himself. No. He was he was made to rely on the creator. And yes. so he would find himself breaking the law, even when he's doing his best. Mm -hmm. He's still going to break that law. And if you break one law, you're guilty. Yes, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're deserving of punishment when you break that one law. Mm -hmm. So we cannot just make it on our own. We need God's grace. Amen. We do. We do. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, God. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Lord. Now, it says here in verse 20, now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Ooh, that, right, that one right there is a part of one. So we do know who our mediator is, which is that seed which is our Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But also we know that there are three in one, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Because over here he's saying, he's saying it's not a mediator of one, but God is one. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, Father. And then also, thank you, Jesus. Um, we do know that, um, this is 20, yes. So for believers, it says here, Christ Jesus serves as mediator between God and humans. As a result, there exists a new relationship between God and humanity, mediated through the better promises. So this was the plan that the God Almighty had even before the creation of the world. Amen? And it says, but God is one and his people are one through faith in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So this is how, through our faith in Christ Jesus, this is how we can experience the freedom of God in us. He, he already he gave it to us. We don't have to walk more in condemnation. Amen. We don't have to walk more in guilt. You know, like uh, our pastor said, you know, like a couple of months ago, I'm not guilty. We are not guilty. Amen. Jesus did it all. Jesus took it all for us to walk in freedom. Yes. Amen. In freedom. Thank you, yes. Lord. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We don't have to feel guilty or condemned anymore. We don't have to accept the lies of the enemy, but the truth of God, that we are walking in freedom. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And then on verse 21, for it says, thank you, Lord. It says, but the scripture had concluded all under sin. That the pro I'm sorry, it is the law then against the promises of God, God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. Mm. We can see in the Old Testament all the, the sacrifices that they made unto the Lord, you know? Yes, to, yes, to, or even the high priest that had to go to the Holy of Holies. Yes, because, of course, you know, the Lord, that's the one that he called, and he called to go and be in the in representation of all the ones that were waiting outside in the outer court. Yes. But why is that? Because they were walking in condemnation. They were walking on all the weight of the sins of the law. Amen? Amen. So, but now we are covered with the righteousness of the Lord and we can go anytime, anywhere, anywhere. We just can enter in because we are not under the law. Hallelujah. Can you imagine how it will be if we, when they walk under the law? You know, in the Old Testament, that was heavy. That was heavy. So that's why we have to share with people. They don't know. We know I didn't know that I was walking under the law. You know, it's not, it's, it's heavy to walk under the law when we know that we have the, he gave us the Holy Spirit to walk in that freedom in the freedom of the almighty God. Look, you accepted my Lord, you accepted my son. Walk in what I have given you. Yes. It's beautiful. 
Amen. And sometimes even walking in the law is so heavy that our bodies, you know, can, can feel it, the physical, because we feel so guilty and so condemned, Lord. Oh, Lord, I blew it, Lord. But then because we're walking under the law, or we don't know that Lord, like the way he wanted us to know him, you know, so deep, right? So we can walk, you know, it's so beautiful. Hallelujah. Any comment on that? Yeah, that was the purpose of, bless you, sister teacher. Uh, that was the purpose of the law. Yes. <laughs> uh, to convict our conscience. Yes. That's what you're saying right there. Of yes. our sins. And, and, and it, it wasn't given uh, for justification of my faith. It could never. No. It could have never ever saved us. And like you said, until the seed, until the promise Jesus. of the seed, but yes. thank God for the law. The Bible says that the law is good. Yes. And the law is holy. Yes. The law had a purpose. Yes. Amen. Until the seed had came. And then we thank God because we are the seed spiritual seed of Abraham, of Abraham. praise God. So yes. we have the same inheritance that Abraham had. Yeah. We are all justified by, by. faith mm -hmm. through grace now as a result of what Amen. Christ did for us on the cross. Christ. But thank God for the law. Hallelujah. Those that lived and died under the law will be judged yes. by the law and under the law. Even the Gentiles as a result of the life that God had given them. So all of us, what I'm trying to say this morning, is without excuse. Whether before the law, or during the law, and after the law. Yes. We have all been given a conscience. Yes. We have all been given a light. Even if we had not heard of Jesus Christ personally ourselves. Amen. God has given us light in our hearts, and that's how we're going to be judged for those that were mm -hmm. under the law. Mm -hmm. and if you remember, yeah. I think somewhere in Romans, first chapter, I'm not sure what verse is it, 20, 21st, uh, they became vain in their imaginations. I think that has to deal with a particular uh, time in history. I think after the time of Noah, mm -hmm. they just didn't honor God. They didn't praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. So that's what we need to do. We need to thank God as a result of sending us that seed that was promised yes. us there in, in Genesis. And I think Matthew verifies it in the first chapter, but thank God for the seed, not the seeds. <laughs> no. Amen. Yes, There's God. only one seed. Yes. Amen. Jesus Christ. And that's Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. He's Amen. the only one. Yeah. He's the only one. And I just think about the personal relationship we now have because of what Jesus oh, does. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we didn't have that relationship no. before, mm. but now we've been granted a son. Yes. yes, hallelujah. But you know what is so um, beautiful and so powerful about the Lord? And how much he loved all of yeah. us. That even though he was yet over here on the scripture, even though, you know, he is talking about the law. But at the same time in his mercy, he was already talking about the promises. The promises, the promises through Jesus. He was already talking there about the promises that, that, if they wouldn't, oh, how would I say in those times? Because the Lord was already there offering them to them the promises. If they wouldn't let the Lord touch their hearts, you know, and not being in so much religion or, or the law, they would have right there received the law. I mean, the promises by faith, they would they could have received the promise of, of eternal life, even though this was talk that he was talking about the law. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Do you get that? Yes. That he was already talking about the promise, Jesus. That he he was gonna come. Amen. Hallelujah. All Thank we had you, to do Jesus. In the Old Testament was believe God. Yes. 
Uh, the Bible says that Abraham believed God. Yes. Amen. And in the New Testament, it's faith. Yes. But they're both the same. Yes. Belief and faith. So Amen. you're justified by faith, and all you have to do was believe God. Amen. So that's what you're talking about this yes. morning. Yes. Believing in God. God Amen. gives us that conscience to trust Him and believe God. Yes. What a beautiful yes. gift and grace. Amen. Amen. Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, he in his mercy, he was just releasing, you know, who's gonna have their eyes open to see, right? That's a good thing. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I've got to just add one more thing. I yes. like what you just said there. And that's why the law was given. <laughs> because when the seed comes, Amen. Our Father through Jesus Christ, Amen, would have mercy on us. Yes. And that's what it's about right yes. there. Through the sea, He would have mercy upon us because He knew we could not keep the law. No. We could not live by the law. Yes. Amen. Yes. So thank God for the sea. Mm -hmm. Thank God. And and right there also by showing showing Himself. Mm -hmm. That you know that yes, the law was necessary and it is necessary, but at the same time, he himself was showing his compassion. Yeah. I'm not all like this that you think you are, mm -hmm. you know, blaming God for you know things because of that. No, look at the promises we're reading the Psalms, you know, how much he cares for us, how dear he wants us to be so close to him. You know, and so, but then it says in verse 22, but the scripture had concluded all under sin, all, on. all on. under sin, yes. that the promise by faith of Jesus yes. Christ might be given to them that believe. Yes. Ooh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Yeah, his word right here is telling us that we all understand. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Sister April and you, Elder Michael, mm -hmm. have said it, you know, that we all need Jesus. Yes. Because we couldn't, we would not be able to do it. Yeah. Can you imagine? Right? So under, what you're saying is under the law, we were all under sin. Yes. yes because of one man. Yes. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Yes, and he needed to, and he needed Jesus. He needed yeah. his son. He needed a, a, sec, a second man, right? Oh but because he, he is the one that carried all of our sins. Yes. Amen. Amen. All that weight of the darkness. Thank you, Lord. And then I'll read one more time, 22. And he says that the promise of faith, by faith, it is by faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. By faith mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We don't have to go through rituals. We don't have to go through, mm -hmm. you know, get get a, you know, a firstborn animal, you know, clean, yeah. anything like that. Because we just want to be close to Jesus. No, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank Father. You, Hallelujah. And then some verse 23. But before faith came, we were kept under the law. Yes. Shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. This is so beautiful, you know? It's so powerful because, I mean, this is joy, right? Yeah. It is joy. Because he says, before faith came, yeah. we were kept. I was kept under the law. Mm -hmm. I used to say, no, um, this is what my family taught me. And I'm going to go, I'm going to die because I cannot leave the faith of my family. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I was under, you know, religiosity. Mm -hmm. Right, the law of religiosity, and but someone came and told me, you know what, that you can be saved just like that. And I said, what? 
What do you mean that my sins can be forgiven? Yes, like that. You know, past, present, and future. And I said, I want that. <laughs> you know, I want that. And I mean, I remember it, it was like the heavens were open and I was so full of joy. But then as we, you know, walk with the Lord and get into his word, but the, the difference is that if we don't keep going, we don't keep growing in the Lord, with the Lord and his word, then we can fall into that trap again, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, and we can become judgmental. We start judging people. We start condemning people. And here we go, right? We can, we can tell the difference. We can see when we are walking in the freedom of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. When we are walking in the freedom of the Holy Ghost, we are walking in love. We are walking in light because that's what the word says. The you know the life in the spirit, you know, is is walking in the spirit. It's life, right? Yes. That's what he yes. says. So that's when we are walking under his mercy and his yes. grace. Amen. Any comment on that? Yeah, I just had something that came to mind where I was talking to an individual, but I forgot what country she was from. But she had said where she was still doing the animal sacrifices. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be efficient for her. And she had accepted Jesus as her savior. Mm -hmm. So she was kind of playing it safe, I think. But I couldn't let her understand. She could not understand that you can't do both. Yeah. If you're still doing the animal sacrifices and you're really not accepting Jesus. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is what she was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, Traditions are so hard to let go, yes. you know, after so many generations of yes. that they still participated, in, even though we're going over speaking of Jesus in these foreign areas. Yes. Um, that the yeah. Were, yeah. Amen. That's, that yeah. And that's, that's why, you know, it's like his word says that there is that, you know, that we want to walk what we preach, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just by our actions. Because people are watching us, and and it's just by our actions. Actions have more power than just you know speaking, you know talking. Yeah, being an example of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Elder Mike. No, I'm sorry for speaking out loud. I, I like you know that Sister April. I'm sorry. Amen. Um, you have to show someone like that in scripture, beginning with the Old Testament, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, about the sacrifices mm -hmm. and how the law can actually uh, kill. The law can actually, the law would be a curse. You understand what I mean? Yeah. And then show her, and then show her from the New Testament how the Holy Spirit brings life. You see what I mean? So someone like that is doing both. She have to under we have to have her to understand mm -hmm. that you cannot do both before they're conscious. Yes. One is one was to show us the conscience of transgressions and, and our sins. And if you're still doing sacrifices, then that is definitely under the old testament. So we have to go there first. And, you know, begin there first and show her. Uh, that's not acceptable anymore. It was a good thing, but it's not acceptable anymore because of what our teacher is saying this morning about the seed and the promise. So it's the Spirit of God that gives life now. It's Jesus Christ yes. that gives grace and mercy, and she no longer has to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's what they, I'm sure that there are others that are practicing that. Yeah, still today, but you know, I, I don't I'm not sure, and I'm not being, and I'm not certainly going to judge, but I, I don't see how you can serve Jesus and then practice sacrifices too. Exactly. When he was the ultimate yes, sacrifice. Exactly. So instead of condemning her and telling her she's lost, go to the old and then, and and the new. Sure, and then to the new. Exactly. I was going to say sure that. that yeah. She, the Lord. Yeah. When that, yeah. When and that, you, then, I, that was not as. Uh, Okay. Yes. And so that's one of the things that makes people afraid when you go out into the uh, streets and talk to other people because if you're not really dealing with scripture, mm -hmm. you feel like you I might know it in my head, but being able to find and show people 
I, I'm not that good at figuring out that right towards that time. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I couldn't do that. The G7 was the G. But it's with growth. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what's going to now. Right. That's right. Amen. Yeah. 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 Amen. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Where the Lord has brought us this yeah. far yeah. Yeah. in the growth Glory and the God. wisdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jimmy. His power. Yeah. He's doing a lot. Glory. Day and night. Day and Amen. Night. Yeah. Amen. We are not where we were last year. Yeah, Mother yeah. Emily, you are growing in the Lord. Yes. Yes. Mother oh, Emily, yeah. all of us. Yes. Amen. Thank oh, you, yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. And then in verse 24, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster yeah. to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Yes. So right here, it's still telling us the benefits of the law, yes. right? Because, yes, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. because even though when we read in the Old Testament about the law, you know, then the Holy Spirit shows us we also must be careful, even though we are under grace. Yes. Amen. Right. Yes, we got to. It teaches us about the fear of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. It teaches us about, um, you know, that we shouldn't have other idols. Why? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. All that is being taught in the law. Right? The, the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Right? That so was written by Moses. Right? It's under the law. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You, do, you shall not lie. Mm -hmm. Right? That's one mm -hmm. of the commandments of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And if we and why he's telling us. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Why he doesn't want us to lie. There are consequences. Mm -hmm. Right? Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And isn't it powerful that if you really see around that even the world, they don't know. They don't know that they're applying the love of God. They don't know because there has to be law in the in the nations. Can you imagine there was no law? But they don't know that that law is coming from the Lord, from God, yes, even yes, though they're not aware of. Come on. Right? He says, don't lie. But if we see someone that has lied, that person can go to jail. Jeez. Right? Yes. And it's in the commandments. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't steal. That's what the Lord is saying. Right? That, that you know, the Ten Commandments was on the schools for the children to read. Right? But then if, if something happens, you know, why do you, why do you steal that? I can say to someone, you know, why do you steal that? Yeah. What's going to happen? You can go to jail if you steal. Mm -hmm. But the Lord says, in the Ten Commandments, do not steal. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To bring us unto Christ. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That we might be justified by faith. So right here is saying, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord. I repent. That means I turn away. I will not lie or steal, Lord, anymore. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So when I do that, when we do that, <clears throat> then the Lord justifies us because <clears throat> we know that when we come to the Lord with a repented heart and we say, Lord, forgive me, Lord, I repent. Then what the Lord is going to do, as I confess it to him, by faith, yes. I will be justified. Yes. I will be justified for, before my Lord. Hallelujah. He forgive us, right? I don't have to come with that condemnation or guilt because I know that even though I fail on that, then I'm, the Lord still sees me with righteousness of, of that seed that we started talking about yeah. in the first verse. Amen? Yeah. And then <clears throat> on verse 25, but after that faith is come, 
we are no longer under a schoolmaster. Ooh, hallelujah. After the faith of God, the faith of Christ, uh, it, it comes, that means unto us, right? We are no longer under a schoolmaster. So what does that mean? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Yes. Amen. So now, and you know, it is in his word that our faith is getting stronger, fortified, right? Mm -hmm. So we're no longer under a school master. So who do we have now? We have the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Spirit is our teacher now. Yes. He's the one who is teaching his word. I'm not under uh, the law, right? Yeah. It's under grace. Yes. In his gentleness. Yes. He comes in that tangible voice. Yes. The Holy Spirit It is our teacher. Amen. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Ooh. Yes, it Thank is. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he said um, in that scripture, Elder Michael, where he says that, that you don't have to worry who will teach you, mm -hmm. but that the Holy That's Spirit strong. will teach you. Yes. Thank That's you, right. Jesus. Yes. Don't you experience that when you are in the Word, when you're spending time with the Lord and you're in His Word, and you're reading this scripture, and all suddenly you hear the Holy Spirit revealing to you yes, about that scripture. Yes. It's like, wow, right? It went deep into our hearts, right? Yes. And I said, wow, Lord, I have not seen this scripture before like this. Yes. He revealed to you that yes. scripture. And when he revealed <coughs> that scripture, which is your teacher, something happens to you when he's revealing that to you, that yes. truth comes. That deliverance comes, that healing comes. You know, it's like, and I just close my eyes and I just receive it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and I write it down, Lord. It's beautiful and it's powerful. We don't have to do anything for the Holy Spirit to teach us. We just, as long as we ask Him and He knows our heart, there He is. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Look at all the benefits of the promises of the Lord. Amen. Amen. No more walking under the law. No. No. More law. no. <laughs> yes. Mercy. Yes, my elder Michael. You're going to say something. I was, but that's too good. We messed that up. Law, grace, and mercy. Amen. Praise, Praise Jesus. I, I was trying to go back to where you were talking about how the Holy Spirit reveals uh, to us through the Word of God. Yes. Uh, there was a class that the pastor gave us, it was a minister's class. And Yes, Sister Claudia, you were in that class where mm -hmm. he talked about eisegesis and exegesis. You remember that class? Yes, I do. Amen. So what his point was is that when we read the word of God, sometimes we read things into it. Yes. You see what I mean? Yes. We read things into it and we record things out of it. So when we read things into what it's saying, Basically, that's called eisegesis. But when the Holy Spirit comes in there, you know, then, you know, he's exegeting it to him, too. Yes, he's yes. interpreting it for us. Yes. He's opening up our eyes, yes, yes. our heart yes. to the word of God. Amen. Have you ever known anybody who just quoted scripture and, and right off the top, they give their interpretation and they're in error? Have you ever talked to anyone? They're in error when they did it. Well, yeah, you know that yeah. they're in error. Yeah. Well, how they read something into what they, what, how they explain something that they read, and they're in error. Well, that's eisegesis. That's yeah. their own. They're reading into it. And I, I've known people that way, where I know that there was error, and what there's the scripture that they're quoting, and it's only error because of what they were. Uh, they were revealing what it meant to them. 
So when you know that they're doing that, uh, give it to the Lord to show them their error, that that's not the proper interpretation. For and I'm sure that they will agree. Yeah. And then they'll go back. Once they're corrected a few times, I guarantee you they will go back and study and study and study. And when they come before you again, talking like that, they will know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. They will. Yes. I've had this happen to me yes. on many occasions where I've had to correct, even a pastor correcting us. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Praise mm -hmm. God. We're, we're always to be able to uh, to be open. Teachable. Teachable spirits. That's yes. right. Teachable. Yes. We always should be open. It was learning, yeah. right? That's we're learning. Right. It's a right. humble spirit. Yeah. It's a blessing. Yeah. It's a blessing. Amen. We receive it because we're growing. Amen. Absolutely. Stay humble yeah. before the yeah. Lord and yeah. have a teachable spirit. Amen. Nobody yeah. wants to be in that position where you're purposely blowing out teaching. Yeah, yes, oh, no. no one does. No. Yeah, no. yeah, no, that's how we learn. Yeah, amen. Thank Many you. of us have done it. Yes, I've done it yeah. <laughs> until the Lord corrected me. I'm sure we've all been in error on the spirit. Yeah. So but he doesn't condemn you, right? He doesn't condemn you. No, no he does I'm not. I mean, we're learning. No, he's amen. having mercy on yes. this. Yes. Yes. Right it's okay, <laughs> it's okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> but see. You know what is so beautiful what just happened to me? Because we just read about, about that, uh, what it says about, let me see here, mm -hmm. about the law, the schoolmaster. Mm -hmm. uh, where in verse 24, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster. The law was schoolmaster. Yes. But then on 25th, right after, we're not longer under a schoolmaster. No so more. it's called the law over here. Mm -hmm. But then on 25th says, no longer. No longer. No longer. No longer. So now, what do we have? The yes. Holy Spirit. The right. Holy That's Spirit right. that is teaching us. Right. Amen. So in verse 26, it says, for this is, I mean, all the scriptures are powerful, are, you know, the word of the Lord, but this over here. It started on verse 24 to uh, verse 29. Mm -hmm. And so in verse 25, it says, but after that faith is come, mm -hmm. we are not longer under a schoolmaster. But then on 26, amen, it says, for you are all the children of God yes. by faith in Christ yes. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just by saying one word, Lord, come into my heart, right? Yes, come into Lord. my heart. You're my Savior, my Lord. It is right there. There is right there by faith in Christ Jesus. It's all by because of Jesus, because of the Father of mercy, because of covenant between God the Father and God in Jesus, right? Yes. That together we came into agreement and have a covenant, mm -hmm. amen, that by his grace, by the grace of Jesus, hallelujah, it's all by faith, believing, amen, that we are not walking under the law, which is a free gift from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And then on verse 27, for as many of you, as have been baptized into Christ, have put on, on Christ. Mm -hmm. So that Lord is giving everything over here. Mm -hmm. Everything that we need to receive, believe, and walk in it. Yes. What, a pro what, a, what promises, right? Yeah. Amen? Yes. That's why he is the only God. There is no other God. Amen? Mm -hmm. He is our God, you know, that he became sin for all of us. Amen. Only him so that we can walk in that freedom, in that liberty of the Holy Spirit, in that liberty of his love and grace and mercy and goodness and love and kindness and everything that he has for us to the abundance. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
And then from verse 28, yeah. it says, there is neither you or nor Greek. Mm -hmm. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female because you, we are all in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 We are all one in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. Right there, there is the answer for everything. For everything. Yes. Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank yes. you, Father. And that's how we got to walk in it. But you know what is so beautiful? That the more we get to know God in all that, everything he is, and we are growing and we start seeing people the way that God sees them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if he does not condemn me, why am I going to condemn you, right? Yeah. We got to see that person, you know, with the eyes of the Lord. Amen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? And yeah. it's, it's beautiful and it's powerful. And I thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. Amen. There is, there is not you, you, nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. Yes. There is neither male nor female. Yes. We are all one. All one. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And verse 29, which is our last verse. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if you be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Yes. Ooh. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Isn't it an exciting yes. word? Yes. Yes. We're going to get out of here. We just received, you know, we just received, and then now the service is about to start. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're going to about to enter. Yeah. Well, we are in his presence now, but yeah. and we know that there is more coming. More Amen. Is. More is yeah. coming. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we are we're gonna praise him and worship him and giving him thanksgiving because we are not under the law, oh. but we are in the liberty of the Holy Spirit. Oh. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. We oh. give him praise. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. So you and your home. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this word, Lord. Yes. You say in your word, Lord God, that it is in freedom. Yes. You gave us your sweet Holy Spirit yes. to walk in that Lord. liberty right now. So I speak liberty of the Holy Spirit upon all of you, children yes. of the most Lord. highest God. And now at um, 10, we're going to start our um, I would say our service, amen. And we are here at Courts of Praise and we are praying that you come and receive so much that the Lord has for you this morning. His love, his healing, deliverance, provision, miracles, signs and wonders because the Lord says that because we believe in him, signs and wonders and miracles shall follow us. And there's going to be a lot of us today. Amen? Amen. So we come expecting. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, be blessed. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. And praise God. Wonderful class. I'll tell you did a great job. <laughs> but no. yeah. Thank <laughs> you.
What's the number on that one, Mike? Is it four? Four. Go ahead, turn it on for me. On. Glory, glory. So Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. That's good. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
You sit on a bird? Mm -hmm. You sit on a bird? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's going to start out with a song. I'll be up there too. You can just go and come up there. You do the job. Brother, that's a good little walk for you and coming back. Hmm. I guess what are you doing now? I do want the mother nail in. Is Manuel out there? Yeah. I can get him to do it, but I just don't want you to. Stay seated, brother. Okay. Yeah, he did it. He's Okay. Yeah. 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 No, it's 
praise family yeah. out there in media land all over the world. Yeah. We just welcome you here today at 525 South Union Road in Manteca, California, where the house is the church in presence. We thank you.
Thank you. 
What he's saying is the Jesus, I can't bless you to the level I need to bless you to or I desire to bless you. You know, I'm gonna bless this. Some folks say, well, you know, what about the Old Testament? That's the Old Testament. Well, in that old testament, he says, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let me let me translate it before I mention it. I bet you. Prove me. Put your money up. I bet you. Now stay with me now. In Matthew, the 23rd chapter, 23rd verse, just in case you think it's an Old Testament thing. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithes on mint. They had a little piece of mint. They pay tithes on it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and mint and a rock and, and, and and eyes in common, another uh, spice, and have omitted the weightier matter, mm -hmm. talked about the love of God, and the love, judgment, mercy, and faith. These are, you have done. So in other words, you, you, you're paying tithes, you're doing all this stuff, but you don't love folk. Uh, you mean. Come on, come mm -hmm. But then there's a comma here, there's a pause, and he says, and not to leave the other undone. That ties us back into Malachi 3. Now, your pastor is, is crazy enough to believe God. Can, can I, can, is that a good thing? Yeah. I mean, if anybody would be crazy enough to believe God, it should be the pastor. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. So, so what I've, I've done and I'm going to reiterate today, you sign up with Elder Mike and you pay a real tithe, 10%, for three months. And if God has not done something miraculous in his life, because he said, prove me. Yeah. I didn't say that. He said, prove me. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. If you ain't had a, an encounter with God, that he's blessed you or your family member, amen, in three months, you let Elder Mike know, and we will cut you a check and give you back your tithe. What other church you know won't do that? Because this church believed God. Amen. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Commercial over. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I want to thank everyone that was able to attend um, my my mother's homegoing. Yeah. Um, Thursday. Yes. Amen. The tournament was Friday. I, I thank you because it meant a lot to me just to see your faces. Yeah. It did. And those that were told that we would have streaming, I'm sorry, they're having problems with their streaming system even today. It still ain't working. I, I text uh, Elder Macklin, uh, I believe it was last night, asking him about my mother's sign book, you know, so we could send thank you cards for those that came because it's missing. My wife did such a beautiful job. I think somebody liked it. Oh. I think somebody liked it enough to take it so it wouldn't be lost. But I'm hoping that today being Sunday, they brought it back to church and going to find the right person to say, hey, get this to the Johnsons. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So you see where my heart went? Because yeah. I know what spirit I'm of. I, I didn't go there and say somebody stole it. I'm praying that somebody took it for safekeeping. You see the difference? Okay. Uh, today's message I, I've entitled, uh, Who's at the Door? Who's at the Door? And, and you might say there was somebody knocking. Hmm. Amen. Well, that kind of goes without saying because if you went to the door, somebody must have knocked. Yes, sir. Right. Who's at the door? And before we talk about doors, I, I want to talk about walls and doors. Mm -hmm. See, see, walls sit on a foundation. 
in the natural. The, these walls sit on a foundation that has to be sure, otherwise the walls wouldn't support the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with me? So walls sit on a foundation and they support the roof, which gives us coverage. It's the covering. I'm going somewhere, stick with me. The walls serve as a barrier to keep some in and some out. I remember my grandpa saying when the wind was blowing, it was kind of cold. They called it the Hulk. Yes, sir. You remember them days? Amen. The, the, the Hulk is out today. What that mean? Take your coat. It's cold outside. Right. Amen. Doors have what they call a threshold. A threshold is a point in the structure that demarks inside and outside. Are you with me? Yeah. Of an access point. Because we have access to go out, it says exit. And if we unlock it, we have access to come in. Some of us have been given access to the enemy and you ought to change that to access denied. All right. Because we need to know who is at the door. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. In today's society, I remember a day when you heard a knock at the door, you just wouldn't open the door to see who it was. Mm -hmm. Remember that? In fact, many times you didn't lock the door. They could have just come in. But out of common courtesy and manners, they would knock on the door. Amen. Amen. I, I, as, as a child, I would come home, walk up them stairs, climb up on the porch. Now, the whole neighborhood could see me. I'd reach up over the ledge, get the key down, jump down, and go unlock the door, put the key back, and go in the house. And it was, a, yeah, it was a skeleton key. Dang, I said, what's that? <laughs> Ask your parents, they know what it is. Amen. So, so it, it, it was a different time now. But see, now we have doors and we get behind them and we're afraid to go out of them. We have peepholes and now we're worried about peepholes so much that when you open, when you step up to the peephole, somebody on the outside know you're looking through the peephole because the light changed in that little dot. So they'll hang something over so you can walk up to it, move it out of the way and peep. And now we got <coughs> systems, it, there's a knock at the door, you get the phone out. Mm -hmm. Oh, go let them in. Because <laughs> you want to know who's at the door before you go to the door. Yeah. Amen. People have to wear badges now to identify themselves to represent the company they say they supposedly represent. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and many of us got to the place now where if we didn't invite you, I ain't opening the door. Amen, because you might be thinking. In the book of Revelation, this is not the story, but the book of Revelation is part of our framework, the, the uh, foundation of the message today. In Revelation 3 and 6, it says, He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. In verse 7, it says, And the angel of the church in Philadelphia, to the pastor at the church at Philadelphia. I'm not calling myself an angel. The Bible did. Yes. Mm -hmm. He said, Write these things, saith he that is holy, uh -huh. he that is true, he that hath the key of David. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he that openeth and no man can shut it. And shut it, and no man can open it. They're acknowledging the pastor, and it's coming from the Lord. Yes. I just deciphered that for you. Verse 8, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. And no man can shut it. Somebody said, no man, no man can man. shut it. Yeah. For thou hast a little strength. So he said, I got a little. I, I, I got a little. I'm not talking about physical strength. Amen. So, so you ain't worried about the fact that you can't open the jar. You, you're not worried about the fact that you can't unstick something. Because he's talking about a spiritual strength. Uh -huh. And he says, 
Thou hast kept my word and has not denied my name. Amen. I need to know who's at the door. In Luke 11, 9, I'm not preaching yet. And he said unto you, ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Yes, sir. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Need to ask somebody who's at the door. Who's at the door? Hallelujah. See, there are several types of doors in Scripture. Uh, there's the doors that God will open with you. Uh, there's a little participation you have. Uh, you want the blessings of God, but there's some things you got to do to get the blessing. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and there's and then there's doors that God will open all by Himself. Amen. You didn't know the door was going to open. In fact, you didn't even see the door. You, you thought it was just you boxed in a box with no windows and no doors. You just stuck. Don't know how you got there. Don't know how you're going to get out. You just stuck. Wondering how much air you got left in this box. And you look over and there's a door. See, doors are different than windows. Windows, you can, especially stationary windows, you can just look out and they can look in, but you can't go through it. Mm -hmm. But a door is designed as an access point for bringing things in and taking things out. Yeah. And the Lord said, what did he say? No temptation has come upon thee, which is uncommon to man. But, but God is faithful. Well, with that temptation, he'll give you a, a way out. Yes, he will. Somebody say door. Door. <laughs> so if I have a door and I can escape and I can bear under this weight without fear because fear takes away my strength. Physical fear will drain my body of physical strength. I hope you know what I'm talking about because when, when your body is running on fear, you actually lose strength. That's until a dribbling kicks in. Yeah. And now you're trying to pick up cars and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, little women throwing big men around. Yeah. Uh-huh. Unnatural feats of strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but when fear comes in, now you get kind of scared. You stuff get kind of wobbly, but if there's a way out, I can do this. Amen. So, so there's, there's doors that God will open so you can have access to his strength. <laughs> and then there's doors that uh, he'll use other people to open that you didn't know nothing about. He'll, and in fact, the Bible says that he'll cause your enemies to bless you. Amen. So say, why? I thought you were trying to get rid of her. Yeah. I am. Well, why'd you give her the promotion? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that ain't never happened to you? Yeah. Amen. They, they, you know they don't like you. <laughs> How do you know they don't like you? Girl, you came up and missed, I don't like you. And I know you don't like me. <laughs> you ever been there? I have. They made me manager. The guy that hated my guts, I went over to him and said, look here. I know you don't like me. But that's okay, because I don't like you either. <laughs> you didn't say that yes I did but we have a job to do and I'm going to as manager I'm going to take down every obstacle you have to doing your job is that fair yes. absolutely so in other words you stay in your lane I'll stay in mine and the company will be benefited if the company's benefited we all win Y'all with me today? Okay. So God will have your enemies bless you in such a manner it's confusing to you. For example, in, in, in the book of Acts, the uh, 12th chapter, you, you remember this, uh, Peter. Peter was in jail waiting to die the next day. Y'all heard this. In fact, I even used it in the, in the, uh, the funeral. Yeah. Uh -uh. Peter is chained between two guards, there's two, and two at the door. Mm -hmm. uh, who's that at the door? And, uh, so, so, and then there's two more squads down the hall resting. 
two more squads had eight more men waiting to take their turn. No, 12. There's, there's four fours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and the Lord sent an angel and hey, hmm? Peter was asleep. How do you sleep and know you're being executed in the morning? Look here, uh, I, I didn't sleep too good knowing I had to funeralize my mama the next day. And I, I know I was going to walk out of there. But to be saying, you know, we're going to kill you in the morning. Because they had just killed John. And, and, and we're going to take you out because, look, the people like it. So the king said, oh, I'm going to get you too. Mm -hmm. But this boy sleep. Somebody said faith. Faith. And, and, and the angel swore him and he says, get up. As soon as he stood up, the chains came off. So that was something Peter had to do in order to remove the chains. He had to do what God said. He had to meet him where he was and stand up. Yes, sir. Somebody said obedience. <laughs> and when he stood up, the chains came off, and they walked out the cell. Walked down the hall past the other guards and came to what they call the iron gate. Now, it, it led into the city, but the, the, the gate called Beautiful was 20 feet high, 14 feet long. Yeah, and, and, and took 12 to 20 men to open it. Mm. It wasn't no little door. Amen. The iron gate opened by itself. Wow. It was a miracle in itself. When you thought there ain't no way I can make it. Yeah. And a way showed up and said, come on in. And you had nothing to do with it. You was just did your part like the chains fell off. What chains fell off? The things that bound me to the ground, the things that bound me, the Satan had on me. I, I dropped that stuff and I was walking with God and he opened the door I didn't know was there. So when I walked through the door, it opened by itself because I didn't know that I I, would, I couldn't even imagine trying to push on this thing. And I stepped up and it opened. Yeah. It was a miraculous thing because God opened it. Yeah. Mm. I wish I could have anybody know what I'm talking about. There was something that you had in your way that no man could move. And all of a sudden, it's gone. Hey, and, 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 oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I feel my strength coming now because I'm on something right now. And, and I understand that you understand what I'm saying. Some of you had uh, a good time partying and went back to work and they said, well, here, take this. What's that? It's a cup. When we do the cup, would you go in the bathroom and fill it up? And if you fill the test that the cup represents, you're fine. This is somebody else's testimony. He, he's going home to glory now, but he used to work for Lawrence Livermore Lab. He had a wonderful Christmas holiday and he went back to work and they said, Here's the cup. And he got to pray because it was a defense contract he was working on, zero tolerance. And he wasn't zero all week. Uh, and he said, Lord, if you get me out of this. <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Said, Lord, if you get me out of this, then you lie. I'll serve you. I'll be faithful to you. I'll go to church. I'll take somebody to church with me. Hallelujah. I'll praise you. I'll lie. I'll witness to you. Folks still ain't seen you. Uh, I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about them folks on the camera. Hey, Amen. That's why they're still not here. Hey, Amen. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> Am I okay? Ain't nobody left here, right? right? Here's the focus. The focus is the one in verse 13. It said, and Peter knocked at the door of the gate. You see that they had a big gate, but there was a door in the gate. And the damsel came to hearken, to listen, named Rhoda. Now, inside the house, they was praying that Peter get out. Because they was praying because they knew Peter was going to die. So they in the, in the back room praying, Rhoda's at the gate going, he's here. 
So she ran back. I'm going to encapsulate this thing. She ran back and she said, Peter's here. But she didn't let him in. She was so excited she forgot to open the door. Oh, come on, Rhoda. Who's at the door? Come on, Rhoda, Rhoda. This is the same guy we've been praying for to get out. And now he's out. Yeah. And you let him out. Did you catch that? Yeah. God bless you, brother. I know you're hungry. May the Lord bless you and keep you, you know, cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. What he wants is a sandwich. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you walked up, he said, Cool, I'm going to eat today. Mm -hmm. And all he got was a, May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Come on. Are you with me today? Yeah. Well, see, God fixed that. He said, let there be meet in my house. Because the church, there was never supposed to be a welfare system. No. The church was it. Hallelujah. And the government took it away from the church. Limited from the church. Now they're crying about it. But hey, Robert went back and told everybody, it must be an angel. They don't kill people. He did. He said, no, no, no. He said, to do it. Why don't you let him in? So they ran out there and they let him in. And then the, the Bible said they were astonished. Why are we so surprised when God answers a prayer that we've been praying? <laughs> You've been praying for a breakthrough. God ain't go, wow. Instead of saying, amen. Hallelujah. And they get on the rooftop and say, Lord has blessed me yet again. Yeah. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Yes. And Jen, do you know what spirit you are? Do you know who you are in God's eyes? Mm. Uh, Genesis 4, 7 says, if thou doest well, shall not be accepted. Come on, Cain. Mm. I asked for a mention, a meat offering. You bought me a bowl of fruit. No, I don't want no bowl of fruit. I told you what I wanted, and I wanted a meat offering. And I ain't talking about the meat of the peach. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He brought what he brought yeah, exactly. instead of what God wanted. Right. He says, if thou doest well, not well, sin lieth at the door. Uh oh. Who's at the door? You, you, you ever hear knock at the door and you go peep out the people? Now, is the devil looking out the people or in the people? <laughs> Should the person on the outside of the house be worried? Or the person on the inside of the house be worried? Because if you full of, I'm, I'm saying sanctified and filled with something, <laughs> maybe the person on the outside should be worried. That's right. And not the one on the inside. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Are you with me today? Oh, yeah. Y'all with me? And you oh, say, <laughs> But you're obedient to God. <laughs> to the full counsel of God's word. Well, in Luke 9 55, it says, But he turned and rebuked them. And said, ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. See, what happened was Jesus was, was his disciples. And they asked him, are you going to call down fire and destroy him like a lion's dead? And Jesus rebuked him and said, what? They don't like to call down fire from heaven because judgment was there. It was against the 450 prophets of Baal. Judgment came down from heaven. In the form of fire. Hmm. But Jesus didn't come to judge. He came to save. Yeah. How you gonna tell somebody you're gonna save them and then whack them with a lightning bolt? Yeah. Burn them up. Yeah. That's not saving them. That's judgment. Amen. I, I, I've always been of the thought that the things that I go through are, sometimes is a test. Sometimes it's just a test. Mm -hmm. But other times, it's judgment. Yeah. And, and you know, we get a case, I knew I should have, would have, could have. If you give another shot, I will. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? But if the enemy comes up against Daniel, we can pray and get relief. 
But if it's God's judgment to come up against him, we can only ask for mercy because he's going to get what he's going to get. Because see, my, my dad was thinking threes. Three swats you out. And then give you the bill so you go hang it back up on the sacred net. <laughs> it was in the closet down the hall. He made you come all the way back to the back room, find out your judgment. You had to go back down the hall, open the door, get the thing, and bring it to him. He'd use it and then make you put it back. <laughs> My grandmother was a little bit simpler. She'd just go out to the willow tree or send you outside. And you should pick the appropriate one because if you get a little bit of one, she's going to get a big one. Yeah. And, and come in, but the problem with my grandmother is she spoke, she spoke in syllables. Mm. My dad was three strikes and you out. My grandmother did I tell you. Mm -hmm. And the only, the only mercy you could hope for is she didn't have much to say. <laughs> but that's okay, it made me the man I am today. Jesus asked his disciples, you, you, you don't know what spirit you're of. And, and, and church, we don't know what spirit we're of. That's not to say you don't know you. That's to say you don't know him. Amen. When, 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 when you have a thought in your mind, we ought to punish him for not doing it. That's not the mind of Christ. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So if your first thought is mercy, that's of God. Yeah. If your first thought is condemnation, that's not of God. If your first thought is conviction, he's been, I'm, I'm being convicted, that's okay. Holy Spirit brings conviction, not condemnation. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> In 1 Corinthians 3.16, he says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you, Who's that? It's explained in Psalms 78, 68. But choose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. Judah means praise. Choose praise with God. Yeah. In you, the line of the tribe of Judah, the line of the tribe of praise, is who dwells inside you. Well, how do you, well, I believe the word says, the word says that he inhabits the praises of his people. So if his praises and he's in me and I release the praise, then the enemy that's standing before me got to go. But if the enemy that stands before you know you ain't gonna open the cake. See, you ever been to the San Francisco Zoo at Eaton, huh? Yeah. Ooh, that's loud in that place. Yeah. And it made me think to myself, I hope the bars work well. <laughs> because what I'm going to do, see, is I'm going to stand over by the exit, the door. <laughs> because if something busts loose, I'm the first one out there. Yeah. Uh, because, see, the bars got to work. Yeah. In case that what they eat ain't enough. Right. They want, want, want some fresh stuff. But you know, I, <laughs> I'll get out and I'll call. Come on, y'all. I'll be hollering it the whole way down the way. I'll, come on. <laughs> now, a two legged knucklehead, your pastor going to stand up for you. Yeah. Amen. Some with 400, with, with four foot and, and eight feet long and big teeth. Yeah. God be with you. <laughs> If I got the right shoes on, what can I have to me? <laughs> Look at somebody say, choose praise. Choose praise. In, Rome, in the book of Romans, it, he talks about, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you. Did you catch that? There's a pivotal word here. He says, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the from the dead dwell in you, lives in you. Uh -huh. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by the spirits which dwelleth in you. 
You don't have to say, come, Lord Jesus. The Spirit's already in you. Come on, small child. Get off that hard floor and slip in the bed. I'm talking about my back hurt. Get off the floor. Yeah, yeah. Receive the full benefit of being the child in that house. Yeah. Any parents in the house today that feel like their children don't look at half the blessings that they receive? <laughs> Amen. Why not? Because you ain't told them the story. See, they see the glory and think they're going to start off there. Glory. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got it. See, 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 I, I grew up in the Bay Area, so we had this thing we called Aunt Clara. <clears throat> AC. Alameda, Contra Carso, transit system. Yeah, that was the mode of transportation we had. So if you grow up in my house thinking mama's red pickup truck is the level I'm going to start off on. You got to understand what mom started off. So if she don't share her story, she gonna they gonna miss out on her glory. Mm -hmm. They think that's where they that's her their starting point, and that's a lie. So as soon as they get out in the world, they're disappointed. Now they're worried about keeping the door, okay. and somebody not come taking the door off the hinge because you don't live here no more. <laughs> well, for today's scripture, <laughs> Pastor, you've been at this for a while. I know. I know. Be single table. Get your Bibles. Go to 2 Kings chapter 5. Who's that at the door? Hallelujah. Is my blessing at the door? Or, 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 or is the guard coming to get me to execute me? Is he at the door? Oh. Is my spirit being torn apart? Well, my flesh is okay because I'm still standing here. Mm -hmm. Amen. But your spirit, well, I've had some good days. Mm -hmm. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. Oh, God. And some sleepless nights. But when I look around and I think things over, yeah. all of my good days outweigh my bad days. Yes. And I shouldn't, I won't <laughs> complain. Yeah. 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 Second Kings chapter 5, verse 1. Now, me. Now, keeping, listen, now Naaman, somebody say now. now. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Israel, was a great man in his, in, with his master. Yes. He was a, his ace, he was the man they went to because if they wanted the job done, they'd go to Naaman. And then it says, and he's honorable because by him the Lord, somebody say Lord, Lord. had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor. Mm -hmm. But he was a leper. Now, uh, this word valor always keys up something in my spirit because I know sometimes the ladies feel left out. But understand this, that when the Bible talks about like the, 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 the virtuous woman, in, in Proverbs 31, the virtuous woman. The virtuous woman is the female word for valor. Amen. What are you saying? She bad too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, look at another lady and say, you bad. <laughs> now the brother's sitting quietly going, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to mess with her. She, oh, no, no, no. She pulled that hair back, put that rubber band on it, get the Vaseline. <laughs> you in trouble? Like you don't know. <laughs> Amen. But Naaman was a leper. Now, I will tell you now, leprosy still is around today. Yeah. Uh, the armadillo, the, the virus lives in armadillos. 
Mm. It's a rough looking creatures, but but anyway, but so if you have one, mm, don't have one. Hey, uh -huh. So let me just move on. But 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 leprosy was, was something that came against your body and destroyed your nervous system. And what would happen is they would separate themselves. They had legions and stuff. They would separate themselves from the lepers, put them in leper colonies, and, and rats hung out there because they weren't very sanitary. And the wounds were, you know, and, and, and sometimes they'd wake up and there'd be a critter snacking. But because of the nerve damage, they didn't know they were snacking. You'll catch that later on. Amen. Preferably after it. Then. So, so, so leprosy was basically back then a death sentence. But it was a slow death. Somebody say slow. slow. <laughs> so what he said, Pastor, what I'm saying is this, that the, the, the temptation is not a sin. Uh -huh. Yielding to the temptation brings the sin. Yeah. And the sin, when it's had a perfect way, brings forth death. So, so, so how many of us have sin knocking and waiting at the door? The Bible, Jesus said, Peter, there's one coming that wants to sift you as wheat. Sift you? That's terrible for Peter, ain't it? Yeah, he, he wants to sift us too. How you feel? Because to sift means to separate. Right. And at no other time in history has there been so much separation than in the world today. Right. But the Bible said that there'd be daughters against mothers, separation. There'd be sons against fathers, separation. The, 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 the affections that you would have for man and woman would be uh, in order to that separation. It would be a separation from God, a separation from morality in the last day. And it looks like it's here now. Who's at the door? Hmm. Let me get back to this. And the Syrians had gone out by company and brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. Yeah. And, she, uh -huh, and she said unto her mistress, Would to God my Lord were with the prophet in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. Uh, now, 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 understand this. The, Mrs. Naaman had a, a, a maid, and the maid knew something about God. And, 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 and she's, because you know, you got to clean. Uh, yeah. And, and, and the, you know, Mrs. Naaman ain't going to do it. The maid going to clean up. And because of the fact that Naaman had a, a public office, but he wasn't condemned and sent to the colony. I believe his leprosy was behind his breastplate. Oh. Or maybe, un, no, probably behind his breastplate. Because in the presence of the king, you got to take your headdress off. And if you had leprosy, they would see you and separate you out of fear for themselves. So who got, who got, who got to clean up the army? The maid. Now that's her motivation. I want the God that he knew the prophet is in Samaria. Because he would heal him. Mm -hmm. so, so one went in and told the Lord, saying thus and thus, and said, the maid that is of the land of Israel, and the king of Syria said, go to go. And, and, and I will send a letter to the king of Israel. And he uh, departed and took with him 10 uh, talents of silver. Uh, 6,000 pieces of gold and mm -hmm. 10 changes of remnant. He said, payment. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he brought a letter to the king of Israel, now saying, now this letter is come unto thee. Behold, I have there, <laughs> therewith sent Naaman, my servant, uh -huh. say, my boy, to thee, that thou mayest recover him of leprosy. Now the king is now about to swallow his tongue. Amen, because he said, and it came to pass that the king of Israel had read the letter. He rent his clothes. He tore his clothes because he's now he, he knows he's a dead man. And he said, am I God to kill and to make alive? In other words, Naaman's going to die. And now because this king don't send me a letter, I'm going to die too because I can't cure this man. What's he doing to me? 
In fact, the scripture says, uh, this man does send me to recover a man of leprosy. Wherefore, consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel wow. against me. He sent me up. And it was so that when Elijah, the man of God, had heard that the king of Israel rent his clothes, he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Why are you so upset? Let him come to me. And he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. And instead of saying, I got a phone call, and, and they said this and thus, he said, wait, 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 wait. Tell him, call me. What, what, is, what is Mother Sapphire going to do? She goes, Father, in the name of Jesus, she going to invoke the power of heaven. Okay. She going to call on God on their behalf with expectation to see the manifestation of God's glory. Because we at Courts of Praise don't pray like, here, I said a prayer, take two, ask me, call me tomorrow, let me know how I am there. <laughs> No, when we pray, courts of praise prays to see the manifestation of God's glory before your eyes. Well, Pastor, I don't pray like this. Do you need to get with the program? What program? The program that runs down for your pastor's bed. Understand the anointing of the ministry continues through the body. And that's what God promised me. You're entitled. That's why you have some prophetic ministries that seem like everybody in the church got a word. Yeah. <laughs> well, in this church, we love to see the manifestation of God. Yeah. You got an issue? We'll pray for the issue. That's right. They say, how you doing now? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I, I still feel a little bit. We'll pray again. Yeah. What? Yeah. I want to see it gone. Yes. What would that prove? The manifestation of the glory. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now I realize, I realize that sometimes it, it takes a while because the 10 lepers that were healed, they, they were healed as they walked along. Yeah. But one of them realizing he was healed, I'm going back. Yes, sir. And he went back and said, I'm healed. Yeah. But if you didn't catch that, there was 10 lepers that were healed as they went along. Somebody say 10. Yeah. One went back. How many is that? One tenth. Okay. That was in reference to the commercial we had at the beginning of the service. Right. Just in case you didn't have your caffeine this morning and you missed it, I thought I'd help you out a little bit. <laughs> so Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door, door of the house of Elijah. <laughs> See, we stand in need at the door. As Naaman did, we stand at the need with the need at the door. Amen. I, I don't know about you, but I've had a lot of need this week. Mm -hmm. See, my spirit been on a roller coaster. It's it been going up and down and twisting. It, it ain't like the old wooden one at Magic Mountain. I ain't talking about no. No, this thing was spinning, yeah. twirling, flipping. You know, like the new ones, the made of one made out of metal, not the wooden roller coaster. The wooden roller coaster scare you half to death because it's rickety. Yeah. The metal ones scare you half to death because it's really trying to throw your brains out your ear hole. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? Trying to bring you this close to death in your mind and bring you back and say, ooh, I have fun. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that door had failed. You just come up, ooh, not too long because it's going to come down. But we stand in need at heaven's door every day. Somebody say every day. Every day. But he's faithful. He said, you seek me first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of these things will be added unto you. 
Somebody say, full counsel of God. Full counsel of God. Why not this? Mm. Verse 10, and Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, go wash in the Jordan seven times, and the flesh shall be come again unto thee, and thou shalt be clean. Yeah. This was a flesh test. Mm. Naaman, the captain of the host, the captain, he was the general of the whole army, is standing at Elijah's door. Probably didn't even do his own knocking, knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> and Elijah sent a message. Elijah didn't even come outside. He sent the butler. Are you with me? Yeah. But Naaman was wroth and went away. Why Naaman? He said, behold, I thought, I thought, I thought. I thought. that's what got you in trouble last time, right. what you thought. Uh -huh. He will surely come out and stand and call on the name of the Lord, his God, yeah. and strike his hand over the, strike his hand over the, Place and, the, and recover the leper. That's why I knew the leprosy wasn't in his face. Ain't no man will get slapped in the face. A little chest action, no problem. High five. Something. But he's going to come out in his mind. He's going to come out and he's going to talk to his God. Because Naaman wasn't a believer. But God used the number. Be careful how you talk about folk. Yeah. Well, you don't believe in God. He ain't going to be blessed by God. God will use whom God will use. Right. Now, who's standing in the need of prayer? Who's standing in the need of healing? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody that didn't follow God, didn't know God, but he would fight for God. Yeah. Okay, so, so that speaks volumes of those who claim they do, but they don't. Yeah. When something is said about your God, you sit there and say, but you didn't tell them. Yeah. Instead of saying, whoa, 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 whoa you wrong. Yeah. You're talking about my God. <laughs> like, you're talking about somebody that, 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 that spent the last 20 something like years in the school system that don't like God. Don't want his word laying around on the desk. Don't want his word spoken of. And look here, this teacher would get up there and say, okay, class is now in session. And then the man came in and said, I need prayer. Break time. Go outside, pray for him, okay? And then, the, he, well, his wife was healed. Amen. Amen. Fella came in there sweating like he don't walk across a desert, Sister Jackie. I mean, he just, whoa, he just big sweat marks. Every, the boy was sweating. He just had an issue. But I know what the issue was. He said, can, can you do that thing? I said, what thing? He said, will you pray for me? I said, sure. Because I had just called for a break. And I said, what's the problem? He said, I'm sick, I'm sick and tired of being on Oxycontin. He was on it then mm. and sweating like a leaking water hose. But he was a, a, a plumber that ruined his back and now he's taking out a motor. I said, why are you here? This ain't the job for you with the bad back, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta be all kinds of positions. Yeah. Lift and stuff in our water. Yeah, yeah. But I prayed for him. Yeah. It's kind of wet. I laid hands on it. I prayed for him. Look, you can't get picky. Mm. Let me talk about Ugh. <laughs> You all sweaty and stuff. <laughs> Lay hands on yourself. I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think? <laughs> See, men can do this. Why is that? We can lay hands on them. Well, what's the difference? You do like this. Right. And keep going. <laughs> Lady said, I ain't wiping on a mock shoe. Something some soap and some sanitizer. Ooh. I'm right about it. I'll lay hands on you. Figuratively speaking. I'll lay hands on it. And you know what the brother said? He looked at me and said, oh. 
Now, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the manifestation of God's glory, and I'm getting it. And I'm, I'm, I'm astonished, too. Because he looked at me like something was pulled out of him. Because he was like, ah. And I said, you all right? How you feel? He told me to be like this. Like, what? He said, my mind is clear. And my back stopped hurting. And you know what he did? He walked out the classroom. It was break time. Yeah. But I never saw him again. <laughs> <laughs> he kept going. Wow. And that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Well, well, there was a young lady from Portland when we were in the other building. Hey, man, she would come by about every three months. And she'd never join the church. She'd just come by every three months. And I'd pray for her. Hey, 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 man. Hey, hey. Can I say it like that? We would pray for him. Because right. what I have, you have. Right. Mm -hmm. My job is to point out what God has placed in you. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so she came in, and I prayed for her. I said, how you feel? She said, I don't know. <laughs> I said, what you mean you don't know? <laughs> now, she said she didn't know. I said, what you mean you don't know? She said, because I said, Ben, she said, oh, that don't hurt. I said, what hurts? Walking. Oh, <laughs> come in. Oh, I knew it don't hurt now. She ain't walked. I said, you sure? She said, look, it don't hurt. I said, yeah, man. <laughs> and she leave, and I wouldn't see no more for three months. And she come back, and they prayed again. Yeah. It took about three months for it to come back again. Yeah. Yeah. Why does it keep coming back? Because you, you, you had a reserve spot for it. If you pray to God, that he would remove something from you. Yeah. Don't worry, don't reserve a spot for it to come back. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. How you feel? Okay, now. What do you mean now? Give God the glory. Yeah. How you feel? I'm healed. Yeah. Wait, now. Yeah. Yeah. Let me finish up. I'm almost done. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> See, so, so, so I would say this to me. I would say this to us. Don't walk away from your blessing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Who's at the door? Mm -hmm. Don't, 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 don't leave broken. Mm -hmm. Who's at the door? Don't keep that which is killing you. Who's at the door? See, the mortician could be at the door. Or God's greatest blessing for you yeah. is at the door. Who's waiting at your door? It's really as a man saying, speaking in his heart, so is he. Yeah. If you speak condemnation, you got condemnation waiting at the door. Mm. If you speak healing, you got healing waiting at the door. Yeah. If you speak the glory of God, you got the glory of God waiting at the door. Look here, I just buried my mom. But God yeah. waiting at the door. Amen. What's holding you together? God is holding me together. Yeah. Behold, I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. These words are in red. They are found in Revelation 3rd chapter 20th verse. When you hear the knock, open the door. Open the door of your heart. Open the door of your spirit. And let that which is on the inside that's not pleasing to God leave. And some of it ain't going to want to leave. And you might want to uh, rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We're breaking up today. And because I've given my life to the Lord. And I submitted myself unto the Lord. 
then I have the power to dismiss you. Because I walk in his authority. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But some of you understand that when, we, when you came to Glad Tidings, you found out everybody, a lot of folks know me. That's because I walk in the authority of a pastor in this jurisdiction. But I also walk in authority as an adjutant in this jurisdiction. And I also walk in the authority of an assistant superintendent in this jurisdiction. So they respect the position that I hold. The position that you hold as a child of God. And as a child of God, you can speak to those things. And they have to go. Why are you so sad? Why has your confidence fallen? When you can speak those things that are not as though they were, I don't see it yet. Your your, your delivery, I don't see it yet. I I got bills that say do and a checking account that just says don't, but I I don't know how I'm going to get out of this yet. But see, the yet is not in your charge. The yet is in God's hand. Because he said, if you cast your cares upon me, I care about this. If you cast your cares upon me, I got to keep the lights on, Lord. If you cast your cares upon me, not hand them to me because you can pull them back. If you cast them upon him, his promise is, I care for you. Now, now, (laughs) anybody ever go get a mortgage? Some kind of big bill? And the first thing they tell you, don't go get no other credit until this is behind you. Because if you go, okay, I got the car loan, and, and, and then I'm get the motorcycle, and then the boat, and then the RV. That loan you had coming is canceled. Yeah. Yeah. You just changed everything. Right. Yeah. Amen? Amen? When you pray, you pray for those things that are not yeah. as though they were. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. The, the, the devil is hot on my track. Why are you giving him glory? Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. The, the, the devil's messing with my mind. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hey. Why do you keep giving him credit? Yes. Give him all Because he already gave you the key. He told you what's up the door. And if you open that door, you have access to all the power of heaven. You have access to all the healing of heaven. You have access to all the blessings of heaven. Who's that? Who's at the door? Who's at the door, church? Why do you carry such burdens when he's at the door saying, I'll come to get him? (laughs) You have situations. The situations ain't your God. That's right. I had a, a book the size of a family Bible. And the teacher said, we're going through this in 12 weeks. I said to myself, I had to go over the place. Good God. <laughs> this man is crazy. <laughs> and it was only one class. College level. I said, does this man not know I have other classes I have to deal with? I have situations to deal with. I have a job to go to during the day. What's wrong with this man? Crazy. Yeah. He gonna make me crazy. Because <laughs> now I'm already speaking condemnation over my GPA. And it's the first day of class. And I'm just opening the book and it's making crackle sounds. And I ain't read the first chapter yet. <laughs> Perhaps Terry didn't understand that if I could do all things through who strengthens me, my brother said, Bro, just get started. Because the longer you stand there and think about how much you got to do and you ain't started yet, ain't nothing getting done. That's right. Don't worry about how tall up you think you are. Don't worry about how much big, how, how far behind the train you are. You're so far behind the train, there ain't even no dust coming up no more. And you're worried about, I can't catch the train. God said, keep running. If 
part of it. Look, if he don't have you catch that train, the next one is right behind you. Uh, Why are you stressing? <laughs> Let this mind be in you. Yes. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus' mind was always on the kingdom of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. If we want the full blessings of the counsel of God, we have to do what the counsel of God said. We have to follow the same truth. He says, keep my commandments and my statute. Yes. What's my statute? You kept the kingdom of God first. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes. He'll keep you in perfect peace as you keep your mind stand on him. Yes. The situation don't come. They come in waves. Yes. Sometimes you think you, you look out the door and you look down the end of the block, you say, situations. Yes. They're coming. And it seems like sometimes they're waiting around the block till there's yes. enough of them. <laughs> You, you know what I'm talking about? It ain't one. Oh, here come a, a situation. No. Not, not, not. Oh, God. Must be a marathon. Don't let people run it. No, those are situations. And it look like they're coming after you at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? How come I can't have a problem one at a time? That's not how it works. Because if you could handle it, you would be gone. Do you love him today? Yeah. Is he at the door of your heart today? Yeah. Is he knocking on the door of your heart and telling you there's peace on the other side of the door? Come on, Lord. Open the door, girl. The answer to your prayers on the other side of the door. Say the answer to your prayers on the other side of the door. Why are we crying on this side of the door? Open the door. Look at somebody tell me, open the door. Open the door. Let your blessing be. Open the door. Pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that everyone here within the sound of my voice, God, that you would open the door of their understanding. Yes. Yes, Lord. That when they walk in your statutes, when they walk in your commandments, that you open the floodgates of heaven and pour them out blessings. They have no room to receive. Let them see thy glory, God, like they've never seen it before. Let them see the handiwork of your hand like they've never seen before. Let them see your heart for them like they've never seen before. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray this prayer. With anticipation, the manifestation of your glory. We'll see it, God. If we won't need nobody else to tell us what it is, we'll see it, God. If you manifest it, if you send the revelation, we'll receive it, God. And when we receive the revelation, your word would not fall to the ground. Yeah. Hallelujah. Give God a hand. Praise. You can see what I see. Oh, you finished the now? I'm just finished the message. Aww. That's a church baby. Yeah. All that hollering that she's doing. <laughs> You's a true church baby. <laughs> Blessed of God. Yeah. Usually babies that look that small, I get to holler, they get to cry. Is it just listening? Look at you blinking real slow. You need to sleep now. <laughs> It's okay, later on when you get up order, it'll make sense to you. Mommy and daddy will teach you. She was right up in there. The big, the cute pie. That's a church pick. <laughs> Amen. Come on, Mom.
by Italian. I remember when I was living in uh, New York and I used to gamble and used to lose a lot of money. When I say a lot of money, I, I would uh, scale with like from in the afternoon. I would gamble maybe three times a week. And I would go to the bank and draw money just to gamble. Mm. And somebody invited me to this church. And I went to this church. This church is like everything the pastor was saying is like for me. It's like he it was talking to me because I never knew that. Mm -hmm. And I go to this church and we've got missionary all over, different missionary ways that we tag the money to different missionaries. And uh, when the pastor talked about time, and both my wife and I, and we started with time, I, I was paying like $420 a month with time plus offering and all that. And ever since I started with time, I, I used to broke all the time. I never broke again. <laughs> My pocket Friday night, and I was broke. Like Saturday morning, I'm broke. I got to go to work. I got to ask someone to lend me a dollar. And I pray to God, says, please, if I suppose to stop gambling, let it be. And God stopped me from gambling. I went to gambling like all three hundred dollars in my pocket, and I watched they gamble. And I never wait to get a seat to, to sit down and gamble. I've been waiting all maybe two, three hours to get a seat to gamble. And from I, I stopped down and go to church and paid my time, I never broke again because I asked the Lord, said, Lord, help me to not let a one that died up and can't find it. And I, 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 I bought my house. I bought about three, three, three houses since that. I used to pay rent all the time. And all I used to do, live for the rent. I bought my one house. I buy land, buy build new house. When I came to California here to buy my house, it was like four hundred and twenty thousand dollar at the time. I have my house in Florida. I got this sold it to buy this house up here. I said, man, I don't look like I can afford this house up here. You know, I said to my wife, I said, you, you know what happened, love? I don't want to pay no five hundred. That up here, because I tried the house was worth all that money. So I, I says, we better go back and wait. And I went back to Florida and wait. The house price come down from 420 to 345. <laughs> and when and I came back, I didn't know I have that much money in the bank. When I came back up here, they still knock up another eight. Hundred dollars out again, wow. out the house. I, I bought the house, put down two hundred and eleven thousand dollars on, and still have money in the bank. And I didn't even sell my house in front. Mm. Didn't even sell. No. Hey. Sometimes I used to say to my wife, but my wife used to give money all over. All these big minister and all that, I've been in and all them broadcasts and all them send money. All the one give them to help by plane and everything. So sometimes I said to my wife, I says, when you give away the money, how are we going to manage you giving away all, all, all the money? I didn't know it was a blessing at the time until after. And, and, and I said, I said, well, this was a blessing. God is so good. So yes. anybody who think about say tithing is not a good thing, tithing is one of the best things. The greatest thing. Sometimes my wife would put when we went to this church and my wife, I used to gamble so much as my wife makes sure she, she used to work at the hospital. And she said, look, I'm going to write the time for you to take the church. I don't want to take it. I take that. I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. I'm going to reinvest it. Yeah. I, I got to go. You know, he said, you can't serve two months. That's it. 
is one master and is Jesus Christ. Amen. Thursday, I went to do my eye because they were running too much. So they said they got to move two skin behind my two eyes, stopping, because that's what's stopping the water from going down. So I went there and then the two surgery and my eye at the, my desktop. Mm. So my friend took me to my desktop, but he had an appointment because he, he got us to do some therapy. So he leave me there. So they have a bus from um, the hospital down here in Manteca go to my desk. So I take it, come back to Mantega. So I call my friend, he says, he can't come to pick me up not for an hour time because he needs therapy. And I walk from down here all the way to Delaware at my house. Wow. <laughs> wow. And if you go down to Sizzler, you will, if you look in the hallway, when you walk in to go up to make your order, you see, a, you see a, a picture up there with a couple of us here, yeah. and you will see me in it. Mm. I do volunteer, volunteer, pick up garbage on this island. Mm. I do go in every, every third Thursday in the morning. I go there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm. 90. Mm. Tuesday, we are out there on the highway picking up. Garbage. And it ain't because you got no ticket. <laughs> it's just volunteer. Volunteer. And I play softball. As well, you know, you know, no, God is good. We serve yeah. a great God. Yes. Yeah. 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 A lot of people really more than less and they can do things by themselves, but you can do it without the help of God. Yeah. That's yeah. right. God is like if you go in the house. You say you have your credit card, you don't leave your credit card. Don't leave God. Leave <laughs> God to do everywhere you get going. Because he's a good God. Yes. Yes. And I like when you, the way you preach and when you talk about time, everybody who is sitting down here, no matter how old it is, and you have God with you, you can be okay. Just, just keep serving and pay your time and offerings because. You can't take it, you can't take it with you. You never see a funeral going there and say you have to go in behind it, carrying anything. It's just you and this what you got on here. You can't take it with you. So don't bother to say you're gonna save up with this. Save. It's nice to be saved. Yeah, money is good in certain ways. But don't forget that God is the one gave it to you. Amen. information because it blessed me. Yeah. My cousin told me to pay myself. He said every payday he'd take $200, put it in his pocket. Now that $200 is not for sandwiches, it's, it's not for gas, it's not for lunch. It's not for bridge tolls. It's not for gas. It's just two hundred dollars. I said, "Yeah, he said, yeah." And then the next time I get paid, I put two hundred dollars in my pocket. Now the first two hundred dollars, if it's still there, I take it, put it in the bank. Okay. If it's fifty dollars left in that pocket, I take it, and put it in the bank. I only have two hundred dollars in the pocket because if I have 200 and 200, that 400, I teach myself to live at 400. Mm -hmm. He said, find a number that you can live with, mm -hmm. that you can keep in your pocket. It ain't for nothing. It's for, if you want to pack a gun, get it out of that money. It's for no bills. It's just for you. Makes you feel good. But don't keep more than what you establish because it'll teach you to live at that level. Mm -hmm. Then you'll always be broke and talk about you can't afford to pay the tax. Amen. 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 Your pastor been walking around with a twenty dollar bill in his wallet for like three weeks. Because every time I do, my talk, honey, you got some. And then if the kids need some money, go see dad. Go see papa. Papa got, papa got the money. Go see papa. 
Don't see me no more. <laughs> no, it, it's one thing to tell the people, pay your tithes, be blessed, all that kind of stuff. That's wonderful. Tell me how to do it. Right. Show me how to do it. That's how you do it. Don't, don't teach yourself to have a variable because then there's some days you won't have no money and you'll feel horrible. Yeah. And then there's feel like the other days you have so much money in your pocket, it inspires you to go spend it. Mm -hmm. So get that set amount, put it in your pocket, and it ain't for nothing else but you. Oh, Just yeah. you. Yeah. And then when you get some more money to put it in there, if you still got to do it, put that money in the bank. Mm -hmm. And then come vacation time, the money in the bank. Yeah. That special account, yeah. that's what you use. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 God bless you. Hey! Bless you. Come on, sir. Don't see the lights. Come on, sir. We're in pathways. We're on stewardship. Right. Amen. We're on stewardship. He doesn't know we're on stewardship. Right. And we're talking about the same thing. The Lord was just bringing it all around. Dad didn't know I was. I was sitting there listening to the dad, and I heard. I heard in my spirit, Holy Spirit, and I'm like, look at the spirit moving. Yeah. He was talking through different forms yeah. and we so praise god for that amen yeah. and with stewardship hallelujah it's it's offering time Uh, you guys, when, when he got that, the first thing I said, will it fit around his head? Praise the Lord. He said this. Right, right. They were good. Okay. No, 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 no. Tell it. The little old lady walked up to me. She said, don't look at me like that with your feet. And then she said, come with me. And I walked around.
I didn't mind giving the Women's Day pictures. Mother Harris. Oh, look at Raphael. Mother said, there we are. Look how beautiful the women are. Look at Raphael. Mother Harris. Oh, you women are so beautiful. Oh, look at Shani. He now, Shani fired Elder Mike. Yeah. <laughs> look at Mama Emily. She was worked so hard. Look at everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Praise for the pictures. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see the pictures of Mother Day's picture. You know, Father's Day. What day is Father's Day? Now, men, you we we're gonna we want the women want to take y'all out to Golden Corral on that Sunday. Yeah. But it's up to you if you want to do Sunday or Saturday. But we want to take you out to go and corral on Sunday. Well, is that okay? Is that okay? No. Somebody, somebody at the church said, what are we going to do for Father's Day? He said, she said, the men going to cook. And then we all go eat. Yeah. Mother, Mother Harris said the men go cook and we going to eat. That's what we got for the Father's Day. No, amen. But if you, if you want to, just let us know. That's what we want to do for you. Is that okay? I know some people say, no, I don't know if everybody has plans, but if we do it, they'll do it the day before. Amen. Praise God. Well, y'all, it's time to go. Pastor and I have to go to a meeting in San Pablo, so we're going to head out. Amen. We're going to head out, but I want you to look over across the place. Continue to pray for our musicians. Don't you? Do you miss them today? Yeah, yeah I know. We, I miss them too. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But they're um, out sick. Uh, the mother... She wound up getting COVID. Oh. And yeah, so she's, you know, being, oh, she's pregnant too, you know. So just keep her uplifted up in prayer. Amen. Yeah. And keep the family so won't spread through the family. Amen. Praise God. So let's, I just want you to look across somebody and just tell them I love you. Love you. you can't do anything about it. Yeah. And you better not try. Look at, look at, look at. It's so good to see the Ballesteros family. You know, let us give them a hand. Praise the Ballesteros family. Nobody had that stroke, so he's never been going through. You know, so we're just so happy to see them, and we're also happy to see the Hoffpire family. Yeah. 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 You know, they're going through challenges, but we know God is faithful. Hallelujah. And he is a keeper of us no matter what. Wasn't it nice to be in church today? Amen. Amen. It's so worth it's so good. Praise to God. But I want you to look, I want you to look at somebody else that you didn't come with. I know we all look at somebody we come with, but look at somebody you didn't come with and say, I love you. I love you. you can't do anything about it. And it will better not try. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we so thank you and love you, God. Oh, my God, you're so amazing, God. You just moved by your spirit, and we just watched it. We saw it, and you saw your spirit move, God. You talked about the same subject all the way through, God. And when you do that, you're telling us something. It's time to grow. It's time to go beyond, God. Father, I pray that healing would be in this room. Deliverance would be in this room, God. Father, salvation would be in this room. Father, just help us and bless us as we go on this week. Let us not forget this word, God. Let us know that every door that opens is of a God, and every door that shut closed cannot be opened by man if God shuts it. Father, please bless us to know these things. Bless our ushers, our sound person. God, bless the dancers, everybody that we just came to praise you, God. Bless us now as we go. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.